the years. Good day students, welcome back to my classroom. For today's lesson, you will learn how to describe the set of integers and identify real-life situations to make use of it and compare integers. Let us begin! Integers are whole numbers which consist of zero, positive, and negative numbers. Let's take a look at this number line. This number line is divided into right and left part by the number zero. Zero is an integer that is neither negative nor positive. The numbers on the right side of zero are the positive integers. These positive integers are can be written with or without the positive sign. While the numbers to the left of zero are the negative integers which must be written with the negative sign. Remember that integers are whole numbers. Fractions and decimals are not considered as integers. Some real-world situations can be modeled by integers. Let's take a look at this example. The sea level represents zero, while below the sea level represents negative numbers, and above sea level represents by the positive numbers. If we say 40 feet above sea level, that means it is equivalent to positive 40 feet, while if we say 40 feet below sea level, it means it is equivalent to negative 40. Now let's try another situational phrases, which can also be represented by integers. We have here 15 feet above the ground. Our clue word here is the word above, which represents positive number. This means that it can be represented by positive 15. Another one. We have 10 floors up. Our keyword here is the word up. It means that it is positive 10. Next one. We have 5 steps backward. Our clue word here is the word Backward. It means that we are going to move five steps backward. So that is negative five. And lastly, we have decrease of nine points. It can be represented by negative nine. Wonderful. Now, if we are asked this question, what is two units to the right of three? It means that we need to move two units or two times to the right of the number three. Let's try it. There! It means two units to the right of three is positive five. This also represents addition. Where when we add 2 and 3, that gives us positive 5. Another example. What is 5 units to the left of 0? This means that we need to move 5 times to the left from 0. So let's try. Great job! So that is negative 5. This also represents subtraction, where 0 minus 5 is negative 5. Now let's learn how to compare integers. In comparing integers, 
we need to understand that the numbers to the right of zero gets bigger and bigger while the numbers to the left of zero get smaller and smaller therefore zero is greater than negative numbers but less than positive numbers let's try an example let's compare zero and negative 5 since negative 5 is a negative integer and it can be found to the left of number 0 this means that 0 is greater than negative 5 let's have another example let's compare 0 and positive 5 since 5 here is positive and it can be found to the right of 0 this means that 0 is less than positive 5 awesome we also need to understand that all positive numbers are greater than negative numbers it means that negative numbers are less than positive numbers let's have an example let us compare positive 3 and negative 5 when we take a look at here it seems that negative 5 is greater than positive 3 but since all positive numbers are greater than negative numbers it means that positive 3 is greater than negative 5 let's have another one this time let us compare negative 4 and positive 1 again all negative numbers are less than positive numbers these means that negative 4 is less than positive 1 now let's have another one what about we compare positive 18 and negative 25 since all positive numbers are greater than negative numbers it means that positive 18 is greater than negative 25 awesome now let's go to another one now what if we are comparing negative numbers since negative numbers get smaller and smaller, it means that the bigger the number, the smaller it is. Sounds confusing, right? Let's have an example. Let us compare negative 3 and negative 5. It seems that negative 5 is greater than negative 3. But here, negative 3 is closer to number zero this means that negative three is greater than negative five let's have another example let us compare negative four and negative two since negative four is bigger than negative two it means that negative four is less than negative 2 great job how about this one great job negative 40 is less than negative 21 wonderful great job students you made it now here are the things that you learned today